There's nothing better than freshly baked bread. And Carol Vedemann from the Institute of Culinary Arts shares a recipe that's fit for any occasion and sure to impress your family and friends. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic lean dough bread. Okay, so what you'll be needing for the lean dough bread is some lukewarm water, fresh yeast that I'll be using, not wrong to use active or instant, and then some salt and also some white bread flour. After the bread has been done, we'll be flavoring each individual bread with some flavorings consisting of sun-dried tomato pesto, basil pesto, olives, molden salt, blue cheese, feta cheese, and also some fresh figs. To start off with, we're gonna add our water to the bowl. To that, we then add the fresh yeast, and then I'm gonna stir with a wooden spoon to dissolve all the yeast. After this completely dissolved, we add the salt and dissolve that as well. Now we add the flour, but only half of the flour, and then after that, a little bit at a time, just so that we get a nice kneadable dough. The reason for that is we don't want to add too much flour, and then the dough is quite firm and you can't knead it and develop the gluten that we so much want. After it's all combined, put it onto the working surface, and now we're going to basically knead the dough. We say knead, but actually mean massaging it, because kneading refers to using the cold parts of your hands, as we're massaging is using the nice warm side of your hands. You're gonna knead the dough about eight to 10 minutes until all the gluten has been developed. And basically to check for that, we're gonna press on the dough, and if it jumps back quite quickly, the dough is ready to be bulk fermented. Another tip to do that and to prevent your bread from sticking in your bowl is to put a drop of oil in the bowl, just a drop, then rub it on the sides, put the dough in head first and then move it around, flip it over. Basically what that does, it prevents the dough from drying out. Cover the dough with cling wrap and leave it to bulk ferment for approximately 45 minutes. Bulk fermenting helps the bread increase in size. If you don't have a proof, it's not a problem. Put it in the warming cabinet of your oven at the bottom or next to your stove while you're cooking. As long as it's a nice warm area, not too hot. Remember 28 degrees Celsius until double in size. Good, that's gonna take about 45 minutes to an hour, but after that, it's gonna look something like this. Voila. So what needs to happen now is that we need to knock down this dough. So what that means is basically expelling all the CO2 gases that has formed and putting in fresh oxygen and putting the yeast in contact with new food. After this, we'll allow it to bench rest just about two minutes and then we can basically weigh it out and then also shape it. Cut the dough into sizes that you prefer and weigh them out if needed. Once this is done, store the dough under a damp cloth to prevent it from drying out and leave the gluten to rest. So I'm going to put some bread flour on my surface, not too much, and then I'm going to roll out the dough into a nice rectangle. As soon as I've got the rectangle, I'm then going to turn it horizontally in front of me, so it's going to be nice and long, and then going to roll it up. Take a pair of scissors and dip it into the dough at a horizontal angle, slightly snipping at the surface as you lift and tilt. And keep doing that until I basically get to the bottom and I've got a little reef-shaped bread. Sprinkle some flour over the top of the dough and place it on a baking tray. The wreath-shaped bread will go straight into the steaming oven to rise. So while that is doubling in size, we're going to start with our next shape and that's the coffee bean. This follows the same principle as before. Roll it out again, but this time roll it into a fat cylinder shape. The dough must be kept vertically so it's nice and plump. Once rolled, pinch the seams and roll it into an oval shape until the seam disappears. Dust the loaf with flour and then score it down the sides with a sharp knife. Place it onto a baking tray and put it into a steamer to begin fermentation. So with all the ingredients that I have available there, you can see that I'm going to be making quite a bit of bread today. But the one I'm teaching you is the fig and camembert spiral. And for that, we obviously need our camembert and our fresh figs, nice and whole, and obviously my bread dough. So I've got my dough ready. I'm going to roll it out on a floured surface. So this needs to go about two to three centimeters thick and also in a nice rectangular shape. When I've got the rectangular shape, it needs to lie horizontal in front of me. And I'm now basically going to roll it up into a spiral already, or also a cylinder. As soon as I've got it in the cylinder, we pinch the seam, 
straight through and then just roll it slightly so that the seam can disappear. What this then does, it prevents the bread from opening up when it's baking. And then I'm just gonna flatten it out slightly. And then I'm gonna take one of my nice, beautiful, fresh figs and put it at the one end. And then I'm gonna start rolling the dough around this fig. And as I'm rolling the dough up in the spiral, each turn I'm putting nice camembert cheese in there. Okay, so it's gonna be filled with camembert. And I'm continuing with the spiral shape until I've done with all the dough. At the end, we just tuck in the last little bit of the spiral and then dust slightly with flour. And I'm gonna use my paring knife and just make a cross in the fig. That then goes onto a tray that I've sprayed with spray and cook. And this then just needs to rise until it's nice and puffy. Place the bread onto the baking tray and put it into the steamer to rise. It will sit in the steamer and bulk ferment before it is ready to go into the oven to bake. After 10 seconds in the steamer, it then goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius until golden brown. The bread will take approximately 20 to 25 minutes until a golden glaze covers the dough, fresh and ready to be eaten. And as it comes out there, you're going to have something as beautiful as this. And I hope you're going to enjoy eating it as much as I've enjoyed showing you how to make it. SMS the keyword BREAD to 33728 to have the ingredients list sent to your phone. This basic dough recipe can impress at any dinner party.